You got one? You got a thing? Uh, Supergirl. What about Supergirl? Yeah, yeah I, actually, I was thinking that. I was, yeah. yeah. What do you reckon? Because we, in Man of Steel, we see in the the ship that's buried in the ice. Yep. Like a cryogenic yeah. thing, a majig. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone assumes it's... Yeah, Supergirl. Or Doomsday or something. Right. Or someone or something. Or uh-huh. like, who's that guy? It's certainly something. Yeah. The, is it the Eradicator that takes could over? Could be the Eradicator. Could okay. be any... Mm-hmm. Uh, you could do any version of that as well, because there's a there's one where she, there's a version where she's a white Martian. Is that right? No, there's a ver- the version in the '90s. The the Superman edict from DC Comics was he was he was the last Kryptonian in the universe. Yeah, and so they could introduce Superman like characters, mm. but none of them could be Kryptonian. Okay. So in the co- in the '90s comic book, Supergirl was a character called Matrix, and she was like this protoplasm being. Oh, that's and right. And she took yeah. on she took on a Supergirl form and she yeah. could use superman's powers yeah um, and lex luther dated her yeah that, yeah yeah red-haired australian lex luther was, <laughs> the 90s were a fun time were i tell you what just, yeah 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 she gets like nearly punched to death by doomsday doesn't she like he just most people did yeah but he just like splatters her like yeah. she's like a weird white goo yeah. that's why i thought she was a white martian okay right because yeah, i remember sense. even reading that now if you don't if you're not caught up on all the 90s comic book lore it doesn't work as a standalone comic, The Death of Superman. No. But there's so many characters. He's got this weird rivalry with Guy Gardner. That's <laughs> so right. Like, yeah. It's never really... And I don't know where that Second stems Second string from. Green Lantern, Guy Gardner, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're like, why's that guy... Why's that guy got a bowl haircut? Why's he a cool guy with a bowl haircut? Does he hate Superman because Superman gave him that bowl haircut? Just well, laser yeah. visioned it into him. <laughs> Every time he comes out of a salon and he's had his hair fixed and then Superman just flies out of orbit and lasers a bowl cut on him and flies out again just as a goof. Like Superman's the, the best man in the world but he just has to get his aggression out somewhere. And, it's, it's, and he's like, no, oh, this guy could take it. I'll just laser cut him a bowl cut every time. Oh, So anyway, Supergirl. Yeah. We strayed there for a second. We did. That'd be good. I mean... You could explain her absence by saying... She was sent after him, but caught in a time rift or whatever. You could, but I mean, I, I would be more... Because that ship is supposed to be a million years old or whatever. Yeah, I would be happy to... Yeah, time rift works. Yeah. But I would say the reason she's not... She didn't help out the fight in Metropolis was maybe she was out of the solar system or something. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, it's perfectly... For the Superman movies do not have a lot of exploration in them. No. Like, they're, they're mostly kind of Earth-based. Yeah, yeah. They'd be like, she could be like, look... I've been out in the universe. It's pretty yeah. cool out there. Maybe you could do that instead of hanging out on Earth all the time, you know? <laughs> you mopey prick. Yeah, yeah. But it also <laughs> could be that, that maybe that pod opened when he opened up the ship. Yeah, and yeah. She, and she kind of scarpered. Right, she, right, exactly. Like, yeah. It could be any number of things. So, mm-hmm. yeah, but that, that, that Supergirl movie is total fucking garbage. It's absolute garbage, it's, yeah. Does she fight a witch or I a think dragon it's a, yeah, it's or a witch. something? I, think it's a witch. I don't know, but the idea was as well that you know the the other superman movies had done done well and it was after superman 3 but she just turns up on earth inexplicably yep and you know takes on this persona <laughs> and then it's just nonsense jimmy olsen's in it's the same jimmy olsen uh-huh it's you know, and it was a loss as well it must have been in the it must have been post superman 3 yeah, because that's when they was, were not yeah. making a lot of money yeah yeah cuz yeah and then why they put minimal money into superman 4 and, yeah, yeah, and totally. whatever whatever yeah Do hope it. that happens in whatever version you care about yeah, yeah. or whatever, mm. sure. But not the protoplasm one. That's weird. Definitely that one. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. How about the crow? Yeah, I think that is getting a reboot. That's what I heard. That's why okay, I cool. that, yeah. Is the original crow good? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I say that now. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen that in a very long time. Maybe over, probably over 10 years. Yep. But yeah, sure, absolutely. I mean, were you happy with the crow 2 City of Angels? Uh, no, but I really like the crow wicked prayer. Was that with Edward Furlong? Yeah, that was with crow? Edward Furlong, yes. <laughs> it was. That does not suit him, does not it? Not at all, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I would like to see a Crow reboot. Mm. Maybe not a remake of the first one. We've seen that character. Like, that definitely... That does not require a reboot. Oh, like a continuation you're talking about? I'd say like a continuation of the mythos, maybe. Sure. Like, I don't think... That movie stands on its own as a good film. Mm-hmm. Like, if you remade Raiders of the Lost Ark, yeah. people were like, why did you do that? It's a yeah. good film on its own. Yeah. So I think but if you did another adventure of Indiana Jones... People would love it. Yeah, yeah. It'd be guaranteed great. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, but it's, well, it's not the same because anybody can be the crow, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, modern day would be good. Um, Could anybody be the crow in that movie? Just the crow happened to go to this guy? And it was like, now you're the crow. And he's like, yes, finally. <laughs> finally. Uh... <laughs> No, bec- uh, they they explain it at the start. Because I remember the se- in the second one, a musician gets the crow. All right, becomes the crow. They're like, now you're the crow. And he's oh. like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as that as long as that sequence is in there, and they fully explain it. 
No, so you have to die at a certain time and there has to be great injustice and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I think, and then the crow chooses them to return from the grave. A literal crow? Is it an actual crow? It's a magic crow. Okay. Yeah, it's the magic of nature. Could it be gothy? Is my question. Like, is it is, is talking like, is being goth gone into self parody or people don't yes, see I think it, it is, as a thing yeah. anymore? I think it's going to, they'd have to, if they made it gothy, they would have to work really hard for people not to just laugh the whole way through. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like, I think the original gets a pass. Yeah. Because that was the style because, of the Because time. it was before Queen of the Damned killed being goth. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. But I think if they did it now, he would have to spend absolute minimal time in, like, white face makeup and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Didn't Johnny Depp play the crow in that movie, the cowboy one? The Lone Ranger. <laughs> yes. He did not. He had a crow he in his head, he had a white head, face. Yeah. He had a bird on his head and a white face. You've got me on a technicality. Yes, he was the crow. <laughs> <laughs> they must have cut that scene where the crow was like, you're the crow now. Yeah, yeah. he was like, yes. <laughs> it was called the Lone Ranger, colon, the crow, colon, bracket, city of angels. <laughs> You know what? Also, like, the, like emo kind of spun out of goth. Yes. Probably made a goth and like pop punk kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. merged together to make emo. Yeah. That's probably not true. That's how no, that's, I see I think it. You're right. Yeah. Uh, and people would probably make comparisons to that because emo was also got into like self parody and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And even like even like goths hate emos because goths are tougher or whatever. Right. Or think uh-huh. they're tougher. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh-huh. But yeah. Maybe he could just be a hipster. Yeah. Like plaid flannel <laughs> shirt and work boots. No, you're the crow. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I got one more because we just mentioned it. Okay. Maybe not so much a reboot, but yep. continue it with somebody else. Indiana Jones. Just yes. Get someone else in. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't care whether it's Bradley Cooper or whatever. But, you but make it should it, definitely be Bradley yeah, Cooper. Sure. Yeah. But like you make it like a like like you're like a James Bond thing where many people can be in Indiana Jones and then you don't have to set them in the fifties and it's weird and whatever. Wait a second. Many people can be Indiana Jones. Not like you earn the mantle and you're like, and you're like yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the hat falls on your head <laughs> and you go yes I'm talking like you just swap him out with the right, other guy okay, and yeah. then you don't say anything yeah I think that would be cool like just the further adventures I mean they do it in video games there was a game called the Fate of Atlantis Fate of Atlantis that was I've never played that one I was re- very excellent Tomb of the Emperor which yep. I played Scepter of Kings was that one I think it was Staff of Kings okay good yeah but close enough yeah <laughs> whatever close enough for this podcast <laughs> yes sir I mean and maybe Harrison Ford's got one more left in him I mean he doesn't no, but no, he <laughs> they probably will do one but um close he, to- I don't think he can carry off Indiana Jones anymore I think okay. that's definitely done alright what yeah. if he dyed his hair no what if they put Even a lot more. of makeup on him no what if they just took him out the back and just put him down? Like a horse. <laughs> like a horse. Yeah, okay, I'm on board with that. Well, that's what they do when a horse breaks their legs. So they yeah. should have done the same, same when with he Indiana did. Jones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you think of any other reboot they ones? They should have put him behind a sheet yep. and rolled a boulder over the top of him. <laughs> just like at the Kentucky, the Kentucky Derby, you know what I mean? Red hot car.